welcome back. Starting out as an entrepreneur in Nigeria, Tony Olumulu has become one of Africa's most well-known businessmen. And in 2010, he, together with his wife, decided it was time to pay it forward. Focusing on funding for startups and entrepreneurs, the Tony Olumulu Foundation says that it's Africa's largest philanthropic initiative. I sat down with the Powell couple to discuss why giving a good start to smaller companies is key to good economic growth in Africa. in life. We can't leave this world without us impacting these local others. So 10,000 businesses, yes. we're looking at $100 million over 10, over 10 years. Tell me about some of the targets you put in place and why specifically you want to focus on entrepreneurs. It's that we believe that we have to encourage these businesses, we have to make provision for businesses to grow, in order to grow the economy, in order to, to, um, to provide even other jobs for other people. There's that um, ripple effect. One person is providing jobs for 100 other people and each of them in return providing jobs for another set of 100 people and that way we're developing the economy. And you're, looking, you're targeting about what, a million jobs? Yeah. A million jobs. We're to come through to from these, these 10,000 companies that you're investing Yeah, we're hoping to create a million jobs through the intervention of these uh, 10,000 young African entrepreneurs. You need to understand that big corporations, per se, don't really create much jobs. In terms of jobs? But what's important is to have great ideas, and we evaluate your ideas. If we think your ideas can be scalable, your ideas can, can, can succeed in helping to address some of the issues that we face as humanity, your community issues, etc. then we support those entrepreneurs. The truth is, in the 21st century, the way we give must change. Must change from, you know, um, making people perpetually dependent on your, your handouts to making them become fishermen, let them fish, let them learn how to fish, to give them the training, the tool to succeed in life. So what's been the turning point for the foundation? This entrepreneurship program, I think, is a major one. Another significant one is the, what we just launched today, the TF Connect, a digital platform that brings all African entrepreneurs, creating a meeting point for investors and entrepreneurs, African entrepreneurs, because these African entrepreneurs, they need a lot of capital. I want to talk about the amount of women that have been applying on this program. You initially had about 70% men, yes. now you've gone to around 60%. So it's been improving. It has. Why do you think women are, are not applying as much as men? Or why is it increasing? Or why is it increasing? But I'm asking because it's, it's fa because I know that you've tried hard to increase the applica we applicants. Have. You've put in I effort, mean, which, which is fascinating. Now. Why did you have to try hard? Because we still find that it's the men that are empowered, it's the men that are funded, it's the men that are trained to go into these businesses in order to succeed. So this is why the foundation had to do more work to reach, to reach out to women. So it hasn't just happened overnight. The percentages have increased from the women were about 20 something percent initially. Now they're up to 40%. But bear in mind also the fact that the raw numbers have increased because the numbers of the entrepreneurs have grown from 20,000 in the first year to 151,000 now. As we say, women, ap the sorry, applicants. The beneficiaries about applicants, 4, The applications. So there's been a lot of work being done on the part of the foundations. We've targeted women specifically to encourage women to believe in themselves, to step out, to come out and know that the economy needs them, the society needs them. Because if we have the women, then we have a better chance of developing the economy. Do you think you're going to hit these targets? The one million jobs, $10 billion worth of revenue in Africa? How are you guys doing already? We believe in measurement. Because anything that gets measured gets done. This number of jobs, number of entrepreneurs, this time, at the end of 10 years, we zero rest and decide what next one to do. After 10 years, after $100 million is spent, are you guys thinking about the next step? For you? In a twinkle of an eye, the 10 years will be gone. So now we're beginning to look at what next? What else can we do? So this is the main focus of the foundation now. So the Tolu Elimale Foundation Entrepreneurship Program. So we're beginning to think of other programs that we can go into so that when this happens to pass by, the foundation still has another major program. So watch this space. Well, that's it for this edition of Marketplace Africa. Keep up with us on our website and on social media. From me, Eleni Jarkos in Johannesburg, I'll see you next time in the Marketplace.